Hello friends, Marcy here. And recently I shared um, a video comparing the, the pages in these two uh, endless recorder notebooks. Um, something that I failed to compare or share in my last video um, was the, the width of these books. So they're 192 pages, but um, because the regalia paper in this notebook is 80 GSM, and the Tomoe River, River paper in this notebook is only 68 GSM. Um, the books have a different width because the pages have a different width. So I just wanted to show that to you real quick. And the next amazing thing um, is since I made the ink swatches um, to share and compare with you, I've noticed something beautiful and amazing and that's what makes the the inks the nibs and the papers so much fun <clears throat> and exploring and realizing so i hope i can bring this to you on camera but um this they're both the same ink waterman serenity blue which is here and when i chose this i thought i was choosing a standard ink um i didn't realize it was going to have these properties of the sheening that we see here and I hope I can find this for you but the outline of this square is like a bright copper oh right there a bright copper color and that is the sheening that appears in the lettering here it's amazing it's beautiful um it doesn't really show up in on the Tomoe River paper on any of the lettering or the color a slight sheen on the ink swatch there. So <clears throat> when I compared and shared these pages with you, being different, this is a thicker, heavyweight, uh, heavier paper at 80 GSM. And this is, as a matter of fact, if you do choose to order these, let me show you quickly. Uh, the weight is listed on the little band that was around the book. So it is 68 GSM on the Tamoy River paper. So it's listed there. Um, and I did save that for reference in the back of the gusseted accordion pocket. All right, back to the page. I'm gonna swatch some more inks today, but in all fairness, I wanted to do some different inks. I wanted to um, experience uh, a shimmering ink, a shading ink, a sheening ink and maybe a different standard ink I don't know we'll try that last because I again I thought that was a standard ink so to begin with let's look at the um, diamine polar glow and this is a sheening ink it is from um, a diamine ink vent previously so getting into Let's do the Tamoy River paper first. It's a gorgeous blue. Oh wow, look at the movement on the paper. How neat. So again, this is a diamine. And the letters are pulling. It's quite wet. Um, polar Glow. And this is actually an ink that I find very similar to uh, Organic Studio Nitrogen. So it is labeled as a sheening ink. All right. Let's let that sit on the Tomoe River paper and do the same thing here on the regalia paper. And I do know I'm gonna need some drying time uh, here as, as we go and we have to pause. I'm really liking the performance of the inks on this regalia paper. Just It just seems like the nib, uh, be it the uh, Kakamori stainless steel nib um, tends to glide more smoothly there. All right, and that's all I'm going to put down. 
I guess I could do a little bit of swirls, lines, and a color square like I did above. Wow, the polar glow's showing up some beautiful red here in the lettering on the Tomoe River paper, also in Polar Glow. So, I don't know, you never know what you're gonna get, right? But let's use both papers with these inks and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna rinse that. Oh my goodness, that water, rinse water just appeared beautiful. <laughs> it was clear and now it's uh, very bright. I want you to see that, isn't that pretty? So, let's move this up a little and I'm going to get ready for another ink. Again, we're trying a variety of inks with different properties. Um, I don't have, I looked, I don't really have a beautiful shading ink in blue. As you see, I have blue on my, this is my favorite shader um, and it's uh, Robert Oster, Oster um, Coffee Date. That's my favorite shading ink. So since I know it's a good shader, even though it's a brown, I thought I would use it for today's little experiment process. I wonder if I can work with both of the books like this. Okay, again, we have, we'll start with the Tomoe River paper. I'm not sure how many times I need to dip this pen. I'm not really experienced with it yet. Robert Oster Coffee Date Shading All right, and the same thing here if I need to scoot over to keep you close. Sorry for the silence. I'm just trying to prevent mistakes. It seemed like uh, earlier I was trying to have a conversation, albeit one-sided, um, with y'all during my writing, and I would just get preoccupied and, you know, cap my inks too soon or forget what I was doing. So I thought I would just quietly focus. Maybe you can enjoy some of the sounds of the nib on the paper. All right. Um, I'm already liking the shading here on that I can see so far and it's not even dried yet on the regalia paper as compared to the to my river on the swatch but I do like the shading available in the letters so again we'll wait for it to dry so we have um, more of a clear picture of what's going on all right so we have the sheen the shade and next let's do a shimmer so my shimmer ink happens to be in the blue family blue and oh no i'm sorry i do have a blue one of these that i considered um it was blue pearl but I, um i chose the moon dust which is a dark gray so let's go with moon dust to look at some shimmer and I tried to leave it upside down a bit so I had some shimmer at the top. You have to work quickly with this stuff. If you leave your bottle too long while you're talking and visiting, <laughs> all your shimmer will settle. So let's move quickly. I may recap and invert the bottle again. <clears throat> In, oh, goodness. I left it too long. Look at my glob at the top, all my shimmer there. So let me disperse that a bit. I thought I was being, you know, ready by letting it sit upside down while I gathered my materials. 
So you can imagine that happening in your nib. If you had a shimmer ink in your nib and you left it uh, capside down, you can imagine all that glob of shimmer just settling into your nib and clogging it up. So be careful with the nibs that you choose for your shimmer inks. So this is, you don't want to use a premium expensive pen for fear of um, a severe clog. This is a dark gray or a nice color gray, not really dark. Uh, Diamine Moon Dust. Oops. And this is a shimmer. All right, I do want to cap and invert one time before I move over to the next page, just because I know that my shimmer has settled. See. So when I am using a shimmer ink in a pen, I usually use them in the clear demonstrator pens. And when you pick it up, you can see where the ink is settled. And oftentimes I'll just give it a, a rub between my hands like this. Not really a shake, but just to, just to move it around before I start writing. And I have um, some shimmer, actually the Jager Bond um, Blue Ocean Shimmer in my Twisby 1.1. It's a Twisby Mini, a Diamond 580 Mini, uh, Rose Gold and White. And I love that little pin. If they ever come out with the Rose Gold and Black, I, I know I want one. I was surprised when I saw the purple, but I didn't get it. Surprise, 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 surprise to you. I didn't get a new ink, a new pen, even though it was in the purple. So anyway, we're going to let these dry and have something to talk about. But I do have room at the bottom of the page for that other choice of a standard ink that I believe is a standard ink. We'll see what happens because you use it on different paper and you get a surprise. And this one is uh, Noodler's Blue. Um, I believe it will be fairly, fairly standard, so we'll give it a shot. Okay. Oops. Hold on. Dry that up a little bit. It's from my water jar. So I'm not expecting any surprises here on Noodler's Blue, just hoping for a standard ink uh, performance to compare. Ooh, that moon dust is looking beautiful. I'm liking it like I like my golden barrel uh, for the golden accents on a page or a project. So let's move over. I believe I have enough. Yeah, you can definitely feel a difference when writing on the Regalia paper as compared to the Tomo River paper. And I, I guess that's just because of the thickness. All right, a little bit of drying time and we will come back in talk about our results. Okay, it looks like it's just about fully dry everywhere. So let me see if I can do two of these together. This was our original Waterman Serenity that I found uh, copper sheening heavily on the regalia paper. The Diamine Polar Glow, you can see some sheening in the swatch on the lettering, the practice, and then here on the Tomoe River paper, um, only there's a, you can see this sheening here in the thinner lines, 
and in the swatch, um, but on the Tomoe River paper, it's where the ink was mostly heavy on the page, where most of the sheening is. So I do believe that the sheening properties actually show up better on the regalia. Except in the heavy, heavy pulled areas. So um, I am impressed with the shading. It's coming through on the regalia paper with the Robert Oster Coffee Date because it's one of my favorite shading inks. Um, here the ink looks more uniform except for the pool there and it has just an outline. Oh, rubber. <laughs> I spelled it wrong. Even though I was quiet and not talking and trying to focus. Look at me. I still had a spelling mistake. Um, Robert Oster Coffee Date. This is my shading ink, but again, most of the shading properties are here on the regalia paper. Let's look at the lettering. It's hard to see on the camera. Again, um, I use this in a 1.4 stub nib um, where I see most of the shading on the lettering. So I believe this ink performs better in a broader nib. All right, and this gorgeous Diamine Moon Dust Shimmer. It is so pretty. It's like the um, gold golden dust shimmer and the golden barrel. Pretty uniform. On the lettering, you can see the shimmer shine through, but not as much here again. Only in the, the pooling area. It's just kind of flat here in the big block. And this one, the whole block has shows the shimmer on the regalia. And then what I was expecting to be a standard ink, Noodler's Blue. Looks pretty standard. There is a little bit of a an outline sheen here in some of the thicker ink areas. I'm surprised a little bit here. It's darker at the top of my swirl and lighter here at the bottom of the loop. Um, but other than that, again, here at the beginning of the lines, it's lighter and darker at the end. This is the regalia, and then over on the noodlers, again, there's a slight sheening here. Um, letters look pretty uniform, and the swirl and lines look pretty uniform. So I, I think the regalia papers, uh, tend, it tends to be more of a show-off with uh, the inks that I've tried. So... Um, if you have experimented with these two um, pages, the Tamoy River and the Regalia, I'd love to, you know, hear your experiences in the comments. Um, so I collected uh, some other notebooks earlier on. Excuse me, I bumped the camera. Um, I was going to do a comparison with um, this line notebook, a paperage. I'm not sure of the paper inside. But I wanted to do a test on it. It is 100 GSM paper. Again, the Life uh, Notebook. Um, this is a Japanese paper. It's a cream color, white, and I will have to look up the weight. But these were planned in a um, paper comparison video with you. And I had looked up information on the companies and the paper and I had taken notes. I just haven't made my video yet. So um, this is the Cosmo Air Light, a life notebook, um, a paperage, and again, we have the Regalia and the Tamoy River. So I have more um, paper comparisons coming your way and I look forward to sharing more with you later. Um, thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. You have a blessed day. Bye-bye.